All right, y'all. So I ain't too good at just coming out and talking on camera. I figured somebody might want to learn this. Don't bother the blood on my hands. I just got done skinning the bulls. That's what that's from. Got it under my fingernails, probably. But. People want to learn how to read the weather. Now, you don't need a forecaster. You don't need TV. Back before all that, there wasn't no TV, no satellite. You couldn't just bring it up. You didn't... <clears throat> need to have a meteorologist you just go right back to nature to a persimmon you see nature knows what the weather's going to do they don't need fancy satellites. They don't need all this technological crap that they do these days. Nature can predict the weather for you. So, if none of y'all's ever heard about checking the weather through a persimmon, we're fixing to do it right now. No meteorologist, no fancy electronics, no nothing. We're gonna cut this open. We're gonna predict the weather for my area. <clears throat> you can believe it or you can't, but this is how they've done it for thousands of years, so make up your own conclusion. Take your soap or salmon, open him up. seed out of him. We'll take his knife and we'll split him right down the center of him. Pop him open. Now you see that? See how it looks like a shovel? That means you'll be shoveling plenty of snow this winter. Got a fork and you got a knife. Fork means mild winter, not a big problem. It's going to be nice and warm through most of it. Then you got a knife. That means not much moisture, and but you're going to have cold temperatures that cut you like a knife. And then you have 
the shovel, that means you better be planning on shoveling plenty of snow. So, thought I'd share that with y'all, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.